Good morning! Today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day and it is breakfast time so this is what I'm going to be making. I usually keep it simple in the mornings but I got a Keurig and I'm so excited for it because let me show you guys my coffee station. Is this cute or what? So I got this Nespresso literally forever ago but I don't like it. I really don't, <laughs> but I still have it in case anyone would want it, and I have like all the pods down there, but I just got a Keurig, and I ordered one from Target's website, I got the pink one, and then like, I put it up, and I was like, the pink just doesn't match, and like, I'm so basic, I like, white and black, like everything, but I was like, pink is my favorite color, so I'm gonna get a pink one, but I didn't like it, I did not like it, so they did not have white at Target, I went to Target and Best Buy and Bed Bath & Beyond, but I found this on Amazon, so I can link it down below as well. And then I got all of these pods also from Amazon. So today, let's do French vanilla. Actually, I already did that before. Let's try the caramel one. I've never had the caramel. So you fill this thing up with water. It's a single serve, which is like perfect for me though because I don't drink coffee every day. And like the big Keurigs, can make like five cups a day and then the water would just like get nasty and I'd have to have to just like change it all the time. So let's try the caramel, that sounds so good. So you just push it down and you press the button. There it goes. So the type of pods I bought, it's a cappuccino which literally kind of tastes like hot chocolate, but it's just super creamy, so creamy. So that's why I like it. You don't have to add any cream or sugar to it. It's already ready. It's kind of like the color of hot chocolate as well. Yay! I'm so happy I got this thing. Like, now I can have like a warm cup of coffee. I also want to get K-cups so I can make hot chocolate because that'll be even easier making it out of there. But this is really hot so I cannot drink this yet. So my favorite breakfast honestly is oatmeal and then I also eat yogurt a lot but oatmeal I just love it because it's like warm in the morning and I also love peanut butter and cinnamon and stuff I put on it. So I have this little tray. I got these dividers on Amazon. I can link these down below as well. I only have one rice at the moment but Let's see, I don't want pumpkin. Oh no, I, I need to go get more. This is my favorite, this kind, and then cinnamon roll. And these are only like 90 calories, 80 calories, and they're so good. So I'm gonna do this with some no stir. Actually, we'll use this. I got this for Christmas. I've used this a few times. It's peanut butter cookie dough. My mom got this for me and she got it at World Market. And it has like little chocolate chips in it, but it does still taste like peanut butter. I think it's just like the cookie dough because of like the chocolate chips, but it's really good. I love using cute bowls. Look how adorable these ones are. I got those at Home Goods and also this little polka dot one. I'm gonna use the polka dot. Actually, kind of like the stripe. Yeah, let's use the stripe. So you just dump it in here. And then you fill up this pouch with some water to the line. And there you go. Oh, hey, chicken nugget. Hey, crispy. <laughs> then I just give it a little stir. And then this goes in the microwave for two and a half minutes. And then in the meantime, I like to cut up an apple. I love putting apple in my oatmeal like it gives it the perfect crunch because oatmeal is like mushy and peanut butter goes great with apples so I'm gonna cut this up all right oatmeal's done I gave it a little mix and then I do half the oatmeal with the cut up apples so I'm just gonna do a quick drizzle so I don't have to dirty another spoon let's see how I can do this a little drizzle Mm, I love peanut butter. And then one more thing, we are going to sprinkle on some chia seeds. These are supposed to help you stay full throughout the day, and they're just good for you overall. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of those on the other side. Okay, let's see, I feel like this is gonna be too hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mmm, oh, I like the caramel. Mmm, like it literally tastes like hot chocolate. It's just like fun to drink if you're not like a huge, like strong coffee drinker but you still like the, the sugary fun stuff. Like, I love iced coffee. Like, I literally have these in my fridge. I love these. These are my favorite. And then I put so much caramel in the cup and Hershey syrup. 
kind of mix it together. And you get oatmeal and apples and peanut butter in one bite. Like, it's just so good with apples. That's my favorite thing to put in oatmeal. Sometimes I'll put blueberries and stuff like that. Frozen blueberries are really good in oatmeal because then they get, like, warm on the outside, but they're still cold on the inside. I'm going to finish eating this and then clean up, and then I will get back to you guys whenever I eat lunch. I just got back home. I went to the pet store, returned some stuff, and then I also played with the cats. And looked at the guinea pigs and laughed at the ferrets because they're so funny. I always look at them. They're so funny. Like, they're this long. Like, it's kind of like a wiener dog, but as a gerbil or whatever type of animal that is. Weasel. A, a weasel. <laughs> okay, that's enough. For lunch, I'm just making two little roll sandwiches. Um, These are the Hawaiian rolls I have. Okay, so I have a fresh thing of some spicy Italian salami. I bought this at Trader Joe's. Mmm, salami is so good. So gonna put two on each one and then I'm also going to put some pepperoni salami and pepperoni make like a little Italian sandwich and then of course some mayonnaise I really like the Dukes love it mm, so good it's be like a little subway spicy Italian I freaking love mayonnaise I know this is kind of like a lot but it's good <laughs> And then I have a little bit of mozzarella cheese left. Not too much, but actually this is perfect. Perfect. Next up, I'm putting some of these hot banana peppers. Ooh, yes. Banana peppers are so good. I do like the original better than the hot ones, though, because I like more of, like, the sour flavor. But these are all I have. I'm putting a little bit of butter on top of these buns with some Parmesan cheese. Okay, let's take it to the air fryer. Look how yummy. So, on the side of my sandwich, I'm just having some of these nuts. Nuts really, like, fill you up. And they're actually really good for you to eat, like, every day. So, I love nuts as a snack. Pistachios are, like, my favorite, though. But these everything bagel ones are so good. They're always sold out at Trader Joe's. And then I'm also going to have some blueberries. I just washed this entire container. Here is my lunch. Just two little sandwiches. And some sides. Uh, mm, I'm excited. All that mayonnaise too. Warm mayonnaise. Mm. Yep. That is so good. Like it literally tastes like a really good toasted sub from Subway. Put your sandwiches in the air fryer. I used to just put them in the microwave. But it makes them like soggy, which I don't really mind because then the cheese gets like really ooey gooey. Air fryer is the way to do it. And it makes like no mess. I love the air fryer. Mmm. Like, look at that fire right there with all that mayonnaise. Mmm. I need some dessert. I have these chocolate covered pretzels. I have a TikTok on how we made these. The white chocolate ones are my favorite. Yum. And I also have these cookie dough fudge. It just looks so adorable with the chocolate chips. I'm like ready to have dinner. Speaking of, I have a HelloFresh box on my front porch. But I recently started doing that and it's been like helping me become a good cook because I've been like making things I wouldn't typically make at the store. It's just in this big package. But I get two meals a week so then I make those, you know, twice a week for dinner, which is a lot of fun. I don't have to go to the grocery store as often, which I like that. So tonight we will make a fun dinner. So every week I choose my own meals and I like that because some weeks I'm trying to be healthier than others. So with the calorie smart and carb smart recipes, you can indulge in delicious recipes without the worries. And the one we're about to be making is also considered one of the healthy ones. Some other dinners that I've made that I absolutely loved were this sour cream and onion chicken. This was so good. This mozzarella and herb chicken. 
this one was actually my all-time favorite. You can never go wrong with a burger. This was a white cheddar wonder burger and you made a special sauce for it. I also made this garden spinach ricotta ravioli and a few more. So, so far they've all been really good. HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you'll be getting something delicious. And what I really like, if you are a beginner cook, HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you, and also less wasted food. Like I got the perfect amount of cheese right here, nothing is gonna go bad. So I got a coupon code for you guys to use, so you can also make these fun meals with me. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code STEPPAPA16 for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. The links will be down in the description. Okay guys, let's open up what came in this bag. So we have broccoli, potatoes, some herbs, sour cream, and some sauce. Okay, so wash and dry potatoes, Dice potatoes into half inch pieces, cut broccoli into bite sized pieces. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these up into little bites. All right, and last but not least, open up this dill. Mmm, this smells really, really good. All right, so we're gonna start cooking the potatoes first for like 20 ish minutes, season with salt and pepper. Okay, chicken is cooking, and we are going to make the sauce. Stir in some stock concentrate, so a little bit of it, chicken stock concentrate. Two tablespoons of water, and as much chopped dill and mustard as you like. Okay, well I really like that dill flavor. We'll do like that much. And then some Dijon mustard. And I think add like a lot of this too. I really like flavor. All right, we have the heat turned off now. We're gonna add in some sour cream, this cute little packet. And then also a tablespoon of butter. And this is the sauce. Let's see if it looks like the picture. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to get myself some broccoli. Ooh, this looks good. And here is the finished product. This is my dinner for tonight. I'm super excited to try it. It looks delicious. Ooh. Okay, time to try the chicken. Mmm, it's so good. Yum. Tastes like something you'd get at a restaurant. I added a lot of that dill and even more on top. But I kind of like that like really tangy taste. It reminds me of like salt and vinegar chips. I don't know why. <laughs> and then I definitely need to get some ketchup. Actually, I dipped the potatoes in the sauce. I have a little bit left over, so. Mmm. Very good. Well, while I eat dinner, I'm going to FaceTime my mom just to catch up. <laughs> and because I like to talk to someone when I'm eating. But I will see you guys. Whenever I eat next. It is now 12.30 and I got back from the gym like an hour ago. I did like 25 minutes on the stairs, like 45 minutes on the treadmill walking on incline. And woo, surprisingly, I'm not like that hungry. Usually at night I'm like ready for a full meal, but I think it's because I ate dinner earlier. But I'm gonna just have this little cheese and nut snack while I watch some YouTube before I go to sleep. But that is all I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day slash cook in a day video. I'm gonna keep on doing these and you guys know there's always shorter versions of these on my TikTok, more of them, but you don't see how I make the stuff on those. But I will keep on making these and yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.